everyone and welcome to another photoshop tutorial in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to create smooth and precise selections in photoshop so without any further ado let's get started okay so i have my image open in background so let's make a quick selection of the image you can use magnetic lasso tool, the quick selection tool or even the pen tool to make a selection. You can also make use of the select subject option that comes preloaded in Photoshop. So I'm gonna use the select subject option. So how can you use the select subject option? You can just go to quick selection tool and select select subject or you can go to select and click on subject. Now if you see Photoshop has made a selection for us and I will say it's a pretty decent selection. It's a pretty decent selection. Photoshop has recognized most of the edges. But if we zoom in and look, these are there are some areas here that Photoshop has failed. So what we can do is click on select and mask. This will open this dialog box. And what we can do is click on the selection tool in this select and mask dialog box and hold on alt and just decrease this okay hold on alt and paint on these areas paint on all areas where you think you need this change okay so if you look at these areas and if you look closely the chin part is also out so let's add in this area Okay, oh, that's too much. Like this. See this as well. Zoom in. Holding down Alt. Just click. Okay. I think that's a pretty decent selection right there. Now go to the output section and select this and change this to layer mask. Okay. Layer mask. Now click on OK. You will have a pretty decent selection right there. Let's go ahead and add a solid color adjustment layer to see our selection more clearly. I'm gonna set this to blue and just bring this to the top, okay? Now, if we see this, it's a pretty decent selection, but if we just zoom into it, we can see these white borders or fringes on the edges. So, when come to compositing, that's not good that can ruin your composite so what you can do is with this mask selector right click and select add mask to selection go to select click on modify and select contract it's contracted by around 7 pixels click on ok what this does is it contracts the selection see now if you look at this there are a bit of area that's out okay now what we can do is the mask selector with the selection active click on shift ctrl and i to invert the selection now select a brush and make sure the color is black okay make sure the color is black Make sure the color is black now we just paint on this area okay press ctrl d to deselect everything now when we zoom in and see there are no fringes see there are no fringes right there but on downside to the selection is sometimes this can take away the much needed portions as well like if you see here he has taken a part of the uh, cheek area the skin it has affected the skin and it has gone in so another roundabout is so control z and you can you select everything okay this is how it looks so with the mark selected select the smudge tool just increase the size and decrease the hardness go to here and decrease the hardness 
and what you can do is just zoom in a bit and slowly dab it in tap the areas in okay a mild dabbing is just needed slowly dab the areas in like that slowly you can take your own time but i'm gonna stay at this now we can change different soul colors and see if everything is all right see it's looking good and that's pretty much it no more fringes and the smooth and precise selection and that's pretty much it guys if you found anything useful from the video make sure to hit the like button and comment on what you liked about the video also hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications so that it will motivate me in making more such videos in the future and thank you everyone